everyone. This is Math 6 Lesson 8-2. Summarize data using mean, median, mode, and range. In this lesson, we'll be able to identify the mean, median, mode, and range of a data set. Let's start with solve and discuss it. Eight students were surveyed about the number of hours they spent each week reading for fun. Order their responses um, from least to greatest values. What do you notice about the number of hours these students spent reading each week? So if you look at the um, hours spent reading for fun each week here, we have 11, 4, 7, 13, 3, 7, 12, 5. We got a list of numbers. So we're going to order, order their responses from least to greatest. So the smallest number is 3. And then, and then we have 5 and then 7. Wait, we forgot 4. I'm sorry. Um, 3 and then 4 and then 5. Let's cross them out. Three, four, five, and then two, seven, um, 11, 12, 13. 11, 12, 13. Okay, we ordered their responses from least to greatest. What do you notice about the number of hours these students spent reading each week? What do you notice? Do you see any numbers that are repeated? Seven. Um, seven is also the middle number out of these, right? So that's the least and maximum. Second least and second maximum. Third least and maximum. And then seven is the middle number. So seven here is both the median and the mode. Okay, we'll, we'll learn about um, those terms later. Okay, so how does the order of responses from least to greatest help you analyze the data set? So it helps you to see um, your minimum and maximum values easier. And it helps you to figure out, oh, what's my middle number median um, easily? Because if, if it's all scattered out, you need to order it in your head first and then do it, but it's better to list them out like that so that you make, um, you don't make mistakes, okay? All right, so focus on math practices. Jamal says that um, middle value in a data set is the number that occurs most often. Even disagrees. Why does Jamal say what he says and why does even dis disagree explain? Who do you agree with? So Jamal says, middle value in the data set is the number that occurs most often. So the, mo the number um, that occurs most often is seven, obviously. And then the middle value in the data is this one, which is seven. So middle between seven and seven is still seven. So seven is the number that occurs most often and the middle value in the data. So Jamal should be correct. And I don't know why even disagrees, but Jamal is correct. So you can say Jamal may say what he does because the middle value seven in the data set above is also the value that occurs most often. Even this agrees because maybe because the middle value is not always the value that occurs most often in a data set. So Jamal, looking at this example, he is saying, oh, middle value is gonna be, um, is gonna be the number that occurs most often, but it only works in this case. So even disagrees because yeah, it's true here, but is it always true? No, median is not gonna be the mode all the time. That's why they're different, right? 
Yeah, so we're gonna ask ourselves, how can you use a single measure to describe a data set? So we're gonna learn more about mean, median, mode, um, and the range of a data set. Let's look at example one. Use the mean to describe a data set. Carla is in a bowling league. The league is ranking it, uh, the teams by average score. What is the mean or average final score of the five bowlers on Carla's team? So the mean is an average, and it's the sum of all the values in the data set divided by the total number of data values in the set. So when you add all these scores, final scores, and divided by how many people you have, one, two, three, four, five, then it gives you an average score for all those five people. So you can summarize a data set by using a mean and say, okay, I can add all these values and then I'm gonna divide it by five. So 430 divided by five is 86. So the mean or the average um, is 86. Okay, so 86 would be the average of all these five scores. All right, let's look at try question. The next week, Maria bowls a 151 point game. The other bowlers match their scores. What is the new mean final score for the team? Explain. Yeah. So can you figure the new mean for the team by yourself? Come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, are you ready? So does that mean, so Maria here scored 81 right now, right? But then next week she scored um, 151 and the other bowlers matched their scores with the same score. So 100, um, 151 point game. So you're gonna find the average for all the other same scores plus uh, instead of 81, Maria has 151. So you got all the same numbers. So 95 plus 87 plus 84. And then instead of 81, Maria scored 151. So instead of 81, you're gonna add 151, and add 83, and all of that divided by five. And the mean should be 500, wait, um, divided by five, which is 100, okay? All right, convince me, how did the mean final score change from the example to the triad? How did it change? Did it go up, did it go down? Because Maria scored more than what she originally scored, the average went up, right? So the final mean score increased in the triad because the lowest score from the example was replaced by a higher score, 151. Yeah, so if you notice, it was the lowest score here, right? But instead of the lowest score, it became the highest score now. So the average goes up as a team. Okay, so that's how you find the average or the mean of any data set. You add all the values together and divide it by how many number of values you have. Okay, let's look at example two. Use the median to describe a data set. Trey and Sarah each download um, songs to their music libraries. Their players list each type of music and the total playing time in minutes for each type. How can Trey and Sarah each summarize their data sets using the median? So median is a measure of center and it's not the average, but it is the middle data value. So, so in order to find the median, you're gonna order it from the least to greatest 
And then you're going to find the middle value counting from the, the edge. Okay. So Trace Music Library has all these music types and the minutes. Sarah's Music Library shows all these music types and minutes according to that. So you're going to find median for Trace and Sarah's. Okay, you're going to list them from least to greatest. Okay, 959, 61, 62, 377, 72. Okay, and you need to check if it's all right. Two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six, seven. Yes, you need to have seven numbers for tray. And Sarah's data set has um, two, four, six numbers. So 35, 37, 38, 42, and 46, and 51. And you count it from the edge. 59, 72, 61, 67, 62, 67. So the middle value is 63. So that's the median. But what if you have six numbers, even numbers, and then you have two middle numbers? Then you need to find the middle number from those two numbers. Okay, so 38 and 42. Um, has an average of 40. So you need to find the average of those two numbers to get the final median. So if you have two numbers in the middle, you need to find the average. If you just have one number in the middle, then that's just your median, okay? So Trey's median playing time is 63 minutes and Sarah's median playing time is 40 minutes. So you can compare them by using medians. Okay, that was median. Let's look at example three. Use the mode to describe a data set. What is a mode? So we're gonna look at Trey's and Sarah's music libraries and how, um, and see how they each summarize their data sets using the mode. The mode is a measure of center. It is a value that occurs most often. Data set can have one mode, no mode, or more than one mode. So it is the value. So just remember, it is the value that occurs most often. But what if there are multiple numbers that occurs um, as often as each other, right? So then you just have more than one mode. But you might have no mode and you might have just one mode as well. So you're going to find a mode for a trace data, data set. This is trace data set from least to greatest. Whatever repeats is 67, right? 67 is repeated twice. So that is your mode. None of the other numbers repeat. So that's your mode for sure. What about Sarah's data set? All the numbers in Sarah's data set are, are unique. They're not repeated. So that means you just have no values, no mode, okay? So no mode for Sarah and, the, and trace mode is 67 minutes. Okay, so, so far we learned mean, median, and mode. What do you think is left? We didn't do range. But before we do that, let's look at try it. Nadia's grades on four quizzes were 95, 75, 85, and 95. Find the mean, median, and mode for Nadia's grades. So mean, median, and mode are the most common types um, to represent your data set. Range is just a little bit different, so we'll look at it later, okay? But figure out mean, median, and mode by yourself and see if you can do it by yourself. Come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, are you ready? So mean, what is, how do you find the mean? Mean is the average, right? So average is 95 plus 75 plus 85 plus 95 divided by four. You have four data. And so mean should be 87.5. What about, what about the median? You order it from least to greatest. So that's mean. Median, uh, 85, no, 75. We're going to list from least to greatest, 75, 85, 95, and 95. So cross that out. These two are your middle numbers. You find the average for those two numbers because you have two middle numbers. 
So if you find the average for those two numbers, 85 plus 95 divided by two, you get um, 90. So sorry, that's not supposed to be it. So median is 90. What about the mode? What do you have any number that appears both times? Yeah, 95 and 95. So mode is 95. Okay, so mean is 87.5, median is 90, and mode is 95. Check your answers, see if you got it all right. If you did, good job. You can practice more using the practice problems after this lesson. All right, the last question, I believe. Example four, no, uh, second to last question. Example four is about you using range to describe a data set. So look at Trey's and Sarah's music libraries again. What is the range of playing times in each of their data sets? What is a range anyway? So the range is a measure of variability. Measure of variability describes how the values in a data set vary with a single number. So the range is the difference of the greatest value and the least value. So that means in order to figure out range, what do you do? You figure out the difference of the greatest value and the least value. So figure out the greatest value and the least value, 59 and 72 for a tray. Then you subtract them to get the range of 13. So Trey's uh, data set has a range of 13 minutes. What about Sarah's data set? The least value is 35, greatest value is 51. So the range is the difference between those two. So 51 minus 35 is 16. So the range of playing times is, is 16 minutes for Sarah. Okay, so looking at the range, Sarah's data set has greater range than Trey's data, data set, even though she has less numbers, right? Less different types. Okay, example five, use the mean, medium mode and range to describe a data set. We're gonna use all of them. Seven people waited in line for the rural and twirl carnival ride. Find the mean, median mode and range of the wait times of, for the carnival ride. What do the mean, median and mode tell you about the wait times? What does the range as a measure of variability tell you about the wait time? So if you look at this um, graph, the carnival wait, right, wait times are um, shown. So person A waits 12 minutes, B waits 12 minutes, C 15, D 10, E 14, F 15, G at 13. So you can rearrange this from least to greatest so that you can easily figure out um, your, your summary of the data, right? So 10, and then 12, 12, and then 13, and then 14, and 15, 15. Okay, so that's from least to greatest. So the mean is 10 plus 12 plus 12. So everything, so sum of everything, 10 plus 12 plus 12 plus 13 plus 14 plus 15 plus 15 divided by how many numbers do we have? How many numbers do we have? Two, four, six, seven, divided by seven, and that is 13, okay? Median is the middle number. So not these, not these, not these, and 13, that is the median, okay? And then mode, you have 12 that are repeated, 15 that are repeated twice. So um, both of them could be the mode. Oh, what if there's a number that's repeated three times and there's another number that's repeated two times? Then wh whatever is, the rep uh, is repeated more would be the mode. But in this case, both 12 and 15 are repeated twice, so they're both um, the most repeated number, right? So modes are 12 and 15, okay? Range, the maximum minus the minimum number. So 15, I'm gonna write it here. 15 minus 10 is five, okay? So the mean, median, and mode each give a measure of the typical wait time for the ride. The mean and median wait times were 13 minutes. 
Two pairs each wait 12 or 15 minutes. The range uses a single number to describe how the wait times vary. The wait times vary by five minutes. So yeah, it's usually gonna be between um, 10 and 15. All right, so look at try question. Find the mean, medium, mode, and range for the following set of data. See if you can do this one by yourself. Come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, are you ready? All right, so are they already ordered in least to greatest? No, you need to reorder them, okay? From zero, one, two, three, four, six, eight, nine, is that all? I'm missing something. Zero, one, oh, 12. Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to find the mean. Mean is when you add all the numbers 12 plus 9 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4, 3, 2, 1, divided by 9, right? So that's going to be 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 9 plus 12 divided by 9. And mean is going to be 5. All right, what about median? So the middle number is going to be exactly 4. Okay, what about mode? There is no mode because none of the numbers are repeated, right? The mode is none. And then range. Range is 12 minus zero. So it is 12. All right, did you get them right? If you did, congratulations, you got it down. All right, let's summarize our lesson. You can summarize a set of data using a measure of center, such as the mean, median, or mode, or a measure of variability, such as the range. Okay. So this is just another example of another data set, number of hours of TV watched in a week, and they all say this many hours, and then you can find the mean by getting the average. Add them all up, divide by 10, you get 12.5. So on average, people watch uh, television for 12.5 hours. Median, you list them from least to greatest and whatever is your middle number. It's 12 and 13, so average that as well and you can get 12.5, that is your median. The mode, there is no mode. None of the numbers are repeated, so no mode. Range is um, from 7 to 21. So 21 minus 7 is 14. So it varies by 14 hours. Okay, so that's how you can describe them. The average number of hours of TV watched each week is 12.5 hours. The range of hours watched is 14 hours. All right, guys. That was um, lesson 8-2, summarizing data using mean, median, mode, and range. In the next lesson, we'll be able to display data in a box plot. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask Ms. King in class, but I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.